Hello, welcome to Movies I Love with yours truly, and I'm Fenella Malloy. I am very excited to talk about this movie, which is RRR, which stands for Rise, Roar, Revolt, which is a 2022 Indian historical action slash drama movie that's directed by S.S. Rajamuli and stars Ram Charan and N.T. Rama Rao. Rao Jr. And this movie is in the Telugu language. Wow. So this went last year when this around the time this movie came out, it was not in my radar, but I noticed that there were many people online when I saw on Twitter, YouTube were raving about this movie and there were various reaction videos like from the theater and all that sorts of stuff which made me curious uh uh to know like more about this movie so i decided i i was not gonna watch any trailers uh beforehand so i just decided to jump right in and just watch the movie on netflix which i will get on that note later in the video but when I saw it on Netflix, I'm just like, holy moly, what is this movie? Oh my goodness. Like, it seemed from minute one, like this movie captivated me on so many levels. And it was just refreshing to see um, an international movie, like, do so well like on both entertainment scale but also on a story level as well too and i would say kudos to the cast and crew for doing such a fantastic job with this movie because i imagine like there's one thing that for this movie to be successful in india is one thing but to also have like the same level of success overseas including north america that's that's amazing. So, and that's what I imagine every filmmaker wants to not only be able to uh, appeal to audiences um, uh, in their home country, but also around the world as well too. So I say applause, applause, applause. So let's, I wanna get into my reasons why I love this movie. So. For me, right off the bat is the action sequences. It is very over the top, but it's also self-aware about that. So I've seen my fair share of, of uh, action movies that feature this uh, similar style of action where either some like they are not, they're kind of afraid to go all the way with it, which won't land with the execution, or there are some that will actually go all the way but make it so ridiculous <laughs> that <laughs> you just want to like tune out because I've seen some action movies where when they do have over the top they'll make it so ridiculous as if like when the characters let's say when the main character gets um physically hurt like it does not affect them at all well like with this movie when you see the characters um get injured they actually really do struggle which I really do appreciate I mean even though they may seem superhuman but it was just fun to see that struggle and I really appreciate that and the choreography yeah I, I love that too both with the fight sequences and with the dance sequences as well too and what also what I loved is the music <laughs> It's very epic in so many levels because, for instance, when you listen to the intro music for the main characters, like it really sets the, mo the mood, the tone like for the movie. So I would say good job with that one. And the soundtrack is amazing. Like Not To Not To is, is the best. And it's always such a joy to always listen to that song every time that scene appears and it's cute like with all like the reactions people have made to 
uh, that song in particular, which is fun. And I've seen like the dance tutorials, which I want to learn myself too. And that is just cute. And but also, yeah, the this, this story, I love, yeah, the screenplay and the and the overall direction, because I love how it addresses themes of friendship. Because <laughs> for me, like, um, it's, it's been a while since I've seen like a movie that that ha that deals with friendship where you believe that it's genuine. Because I, I love, yeah, how like this, the friendship is genuine between the main characters, even though they they may have different ideals in terms of trying to accomplish their, their goals. At least like they still have like the main thought, like the main purpose for what 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 they're doing, what to do, why they're doing what they're doing. Just want to say that. And yeah, like this movie just I've seen it multiple times, and I never get tired of it. Um, because I know there were a few people that complain about the the film's runtime, which is over three hours. And I certainly do not feel the length uh, with this movie because I've seen movies that were way less than two hours that definitely feel twice the amount of the runtime. Or I've seen movies that are way longer, like close to four hours, and which is a drag. So yeah, I'm just glad, yeah, that every scene, like, the pacing w was incredible. Like it, it kept my attention span, which is great. And I like how it's cute that when you Google RRR, it shows like this, uh, it's probably hard to tell, but yeah, uh, you're able to see like the, this image of the motorcycle and the horse, <laughs> which is cute <laughs> too. And yeah, I pretty much just love everything about this movie. Like, it just makes me like I want to check out more of the director's filmography and also watch more like Indian movies, uh, especially like especially in the Telugu language, because this is for me the first Telugu language film that I saw. Even though with um, the version that I saw was not in Telugu language, so I'll just get into that point now. So on Netflix. Um, it was only the Hindi version, which I don't understand. Well, I don't know if it's a copyright issue or if the distributors decide to do that. I don't know. But for me, that was the only accessible version that I could see with this movie. So yeah, I think that's all what I want to say. But like, I do feel kind of bummed out that I didn't see this movie in theaters. But again, because I didn't know but at the time of its release until much later but it's neither here or there so yeah like and also to love the performances from the cast especially our main leads with uh beam and rom like they did such a phenomenal job like i imagine like the fight sequences were not easy to accomplish so i would say kudos to them for doing such an amazing job. So that pretty much wraps up what I have to say. Um, I do want to say there's a recent video Studio Bender made where they talked about um, the direction of RRR. And I think there's a part where the director noted that he wanted um, the emotion to be present, like with uh, the scenes, is particularly the action scenes. So, I, I definitely really appreciate that because it, it just saw, it's just disappointing for action movies to have action scenes for the sake of having action scenes. And I like, yeah, with this movie, like every not just every scene, but with the action scenes in particular, are purposeful. So, awesome. So. Yeah, please, you could, um, I'll post a link where you could watch uh, the movie and also you could find to the, the link to my socials in the description. And I'd love to know what did you guys think about uh, this movie? What are your favorite scenes, favorite moments or any aspects of the film that you enjoy? That sort of deal. Post that in the comment section. I'd love to know. And I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.